There is a lot more to the design of two material valves than one might think. They are typically used to proportion two materials, such as regrind and virgin plastic. When they are used to draw from a grinder, the grinder must be empty after each load. The weight of the sprue determines the proportion. When you draw from a dryer or a bin, time is used to control the proportion. Cycle the valve several times each load to prevent layering. Now let's see how it works. The vacuum chamber draws the material from the outlet of the valve to the inlet of the vacuum chamber. First you load material A. Then the valve shifts to load material B. At the end of each cylinder there is a stainless steel valve seal. The valve moves forward against the non-contact seal to close off air and material. The body should be made of heavy-duty stainless steel to prevent wear. Notice that the non-contact seal avoids any contact with the incoming material. The seal is reversible to double life expectancy. Look for a high-quality seal. That is a sign of a quality valve. Most two-material valves use a single solenoid valve. That means that one of the ports is open and one is closed. Valves with a single solenoid always attempt to close on incoming material. Catching a single pellet on the seal will substantially reduce or eliminate the material flow. That variation can cause poor part quality and clog grinders. If your grinders are clogging, look at what your two material valves are doing. Two material valves with two solenoid valves can operate each seal individually. First, you load material A. Then you open both valves. The sudden reaction in velocity puts the brakes on the material flow. After the material stops, you can close valve A without any material around the seal. If you have a dryer, both valves will be closed when they are not being used. That will help prevent leaking ambient air into your dryer. For the minimal cost of adding an additional solenoid valve, you can have a two-material valve that actually works. When possible, mount the solenoid valves on the control box. That will eliminate wires hanging down from the valve. Loose wires are a major cause of loader failures. If you use valves with two solenoids, compressed air will only be present at the valve when they are activated. As a result, it is less likely that the hose will whip around like a rat tail if it is disconnected. A two-material valve should have open access for maintenance. If there is no opening on the bottom, you cannot get the material out when you change jobs. Most two-material valves have no access on the bottom. Cylinders that can be removed with the seals from the outside of the valve are much easier to work with. Anyone who has tried to get a seal off inside the valve knows how difficult that is. What not to buy? Here is a valve that looks good and is very well made. After a closer look, there are many serious design flaws to avoid. It has a clear plastic cover. That will haze over in just a few hours. Then there are many small screws holding on the access plate. You need a tool to get them off, and you will not find most of them until they show up in your screw and barrel. The seal retaining nuts are in the material flow. They will wear and fall off. You will find them in your screw and barrel with the small screws from the cover. There are many internal stainless steel screws that can find their way into the screw and barrel. The seals must be removed before you can remove the cylinders. The compressed air hose is a spaghetti mess. The inlets cannot be removed and replaced. You can buy several good valves for the cost of one stainless steel part getting into your screw and barrel. That is why you can't save money buying the wrong loader. Thank you for watching. Please give us a call or send us an email for more information. Are you ready to learn more about our products? Hi, I'm Tammy with the AAE Customer Service Team. At the bottom of each page, you will find brochures, videos, manuals, and worksheets. If the product you are interested in has a PLC control, you will find a control video that explains our many features and how to navigate the menus. If you would like specific information about your application, a quote, or to place an order, please give us a call at 800-918-5820. You can click on Email Us throughout the website to send us an email. You will be surprised how fast we can answer your questions. In most cases, we can get you a quote in less than 30 minutes. Why wait? You can give us a call now.